Hello everyone, welcome to the Modern Merchant YouTube channel. I'm George Oliver. Today I'm going to bring to you another one of my finds. Okay, this was from uh, one of my recent thrifting outings. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of Smurfs. This was great. I love it when I walk into a thrift store and I see a theme because someone's donated a whole collection of something. And, and I walked into the thrift store, I saw the stuffed animal bin, and it was filled with Smurfs. I thought it was great. So I grabbed all the Smurfs because I knew what I was looking at, and I knew that uh, I could make some money on this. Uh, so someone clearly donated a collection, um, and that winds up being great for me. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, let's start with cost, okay? So all these Smurfs together, there's about 23 of them here cost me just shy of $7. Maybe with tax it was over seven, but I think before tax it was just shy of $7. Okay, 23 Smurfs for $7, that's a great deal. Some of the bigger ones were around 50 cents and the little ones 25 cents, okay? The other reason I bought these, not just because they were cheap, but because there was a wide variety of them. Obviously someone had collected them and there were some older ones some newer ones, and some in between. And here's what I mean. Here's one of the newer ones, okay? We got Papa Smurf here, and you can see his tag. Uh, it's from the CGI reboot of the um, Smurf franchise that came out several years ago. Uh, so he's a little bit newer. Uh, he's not gonna be as valuable as the other ones, but I'll still be able to sell him. But then you got guys like this, okay? He's got the mushroom. You see the Smurf tag on him. If you look down here, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the tag says he's 1999. Okay, so he's a little bit older than Papa Smurf there, uh, even though Papa Smurf has the beard. And then you've got tags like this one on this Papa Smurf, okay? You see he's a little bit older style. We're going to turn him around. And on the tag, it says P-E-Y-O 1981. Okay, and I have several of these guys in mixed in here, all right? Which makes him a little bit more valuable. He's over 40 years old at this point. And the condition he's in is pretty good. All right. And then we've got guys like this, who he's not anything real special that I know of, other than he's German. His tag says, Die Schlumpfi. I think that's German for Smurf. Something like that. I don't know. I don't speak German, but I can read the tag a little bit. All right. So all of these guys here, um, like I said, someone donated a collection. And I'm going to turn around and piece that out. It's going to take me a little bit of time to do some research on it. But let's talk profit, okay? I don't know the exact amount I would make on all of these, but based on my experience with stuffed animals and based on my experience with Smurf toys, and I have some experience over the years with these, I would say that the, the smaller ones, like these guys here, well, maybe not him because he's a little bit older. Some of these guys here, probably $15 is a is a good average for them, okay? Let me take some of these bigger ones, like these guys back here. Um, maybe not Baby Smurf. Baby Smurf might be worth a little bit more, but I would say probably 20 to 30, depending on their age and condition. And I'll look through all that stuff and I'll price them accordingly. And then maybe some of these older ones, like this guy here, Cowboy Smurf. I think he's an older one. Yeah, he's definitely an older one. Um, and then we've got some little ones in here. I think Smurfette here is an older one as well. Um, those, I'm gonna price those differently. I'm not exactly sure, depending on how rare they are, how many of those are up. Uh, so they might be $15, they might be $50 a piece. I'm not exactly sure yet. But I'm very confident that my $7 investment, or $7-ish investment, will probably get me around $150 to $200. That's when they all sell. Uh, and that's probably after fees uh, and after shipping is included. So, $7 collection of Smurfs, that's great. That's a no-brainer. I'd do that every day if I could. Uh, so whoever donated this collection, I'm really glad they donated it uh, because it's going to put food on my table and uh, money in the bank. All right, so if you see stuff like this and you want to grab it, go for it. Who knows what kind of collections you'll find. All right, and if you are a Smurf uh, fan, collector, enthusiast, and you want some of these Smurfs, come to my eBay store. We Surplus is the name of it. W-H-E-E, -E, We Surplus. Also, if you like what you hear, I do commercial voiceover work. 
You can check out my demos at govoiceover.com as well and reach out to me uh, through that website. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing more videos about things that I'm finding, things that I'm selling. I'm going to bring to you some how-to videos as well, how to navigate the world of e-commerce because there's a lot that needs to be navigated there. Uh, so like and subscribe if you would, if you enjoy these videos. Uh, I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you're out thrifting, I hope you find some fantastic treasure.